Hey, what's going on, YouTubers all over the world? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another segment of Testify Talks, a segment where we talk about music, movies, media, and ministry. In today's area, we're going to be specifically focused on the area of ministry, and we're going to talk about confession and the importance of confession. Now, in case you guys don't know, I recently did a video describing confession and I actually did a public confession of something that I have been dealing with in the past. So what you're about to see is just a quick little view of what confession is, what goes into it, how you confess, and the consequences of not confessing. So with that being said, stick around for this video. Bow! Alright guys, so just like I said in the intro, this video is going to be about the importance of confessions. We're going to talk about why it's important, how do we confess, and the consequences of not confessing. So let's jump straight into the first point. Why is confession important? Why is it important? Well, I have two reasons here. One is forgiveness. As it says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This means if we remain faithful to him and we confess our sins to him, then he's going to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we're hesitant to confess our sins or when we keep it bottled up inside and don't confess it to him and essentially give it to him, he's not going to remain faithful to us. He'll still love us and he'll ultimately still forgive us in the end, but we won't be cleansed from all unrighteousness. All right, so number two, spiritual growth. Now, this is a big reason of why it's important. If you consider yourself a Christian or consider yourself a follower of Jesus Christ, then you know spiritual growth is one of the biggest things to your relationship with him because it essentially drives you and keeps you going and keeps you motivated and keeps you focused. So Proverbs 28, 13 says, whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. This is kind of going on along the lines of when you try to hide your problems and your transgressions, you're not going to be able to prosper and, and grow effectively in your relationship with Christ because consider Christ like your best buddy. You tell your best buddy everything, right? Well, why won't you, can't you tell God, you know, okay, I'm confessing this, I'm confessing this. And it's simply, it's saying that we won't be able to attain his mercy and his grace if we don't confess so those are two reasons of why it's important. If you have some reasons, let me know down in the comment section below. All right, so getting to the how do you confess. This has to be the one of the easiest things here. You have two ways, physically or mentally. So with the physically, this goes two ways. You can either confess to one another, meaning to you or a friend, or you can confess to God. And as it says in James 5, 16, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Now this is saying confess your sins to one another and then pray for each other so that you may be healed from that sin or that transgression or whatever you're concealing, whatever you're hiding so that it might be effectively dealt with. Same thing comes here when you're confessing it to God. You're making a declaration to God and confessing your sin to him. And then as it said previously in 1 John 1, 9, he's going to remain faithful to us, forgive us of our sins, and cleanse us from that unrighteousness. So the second way here is mentally or internally. And this is where you just make a, a mental or an internal confession to, your, to yourself or to God saying, I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm confessing whatever sin it is that you have con you're trying to confess to him. And essentially, it goes relates back into physically. When we confess our sins, he's going to remain faithful. He'll forgive us of all of our transgressions, and he'll cleanse us from our righteousness. Now, getting to the last part of this, we have the consequences of not confessing. And they're not as big as you would think they are, but they still can be very troublesome. So the first one we have is shame. And the example that I picked is from Genesis chapter 3, verses 7 through 8. And just summarizing this up, it's talking about 
Adam and Eve, and when uh, this is after the Satan in the form of the snake had deceived them. Um, then it says, then both eyes of both of them were open and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Now, before this, they had no need to do this because there was no shame. Shame was not brought upon by God. It was brought upon by man when we have essentially sinned. So shame is not something that comes from God. It goes back to the scripture of God gives us a powerful uh, love, power, and a sound mind. Fear does not come from God. Shame does not come from God. Stress does not come from God. All those are man-made things that were put into this world when Adam and Eve essentially sinned. And so with that a sense of shame, you can release yourself from that when you do confess, whether it's to somebody else or to God, mentally, physically, internally, whatever you want to do. It essentially gets rid of that shame because when I did my own personal public confession, I felt like a whole crap ton of weight was dropped from my shoulders i no longer felt shameful about what happened i'm even willing to talk about it in a normal conversation now but before i was always hiding it and stressing over it and worrying oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh what's gonna happen you know what's someone gonna do when they find out i'm hiding this thing i'm hiding x y and z so essentially it's better for you if you just confess it all right so number two is no growth and this relates back to the scripture I did previously uh, from Proverbs 28, 13 about concealing our transgressions. You're not going to be able to grow effectively in a relationship with Christ if you're not going to be willing to confess to him and give up that sin that you have been harboring in your life. And the last thing is stress. And I couldn't think of a better response for this than 1 Peter 5, 7, where it says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This essentially is just Peter telling us that, hey, God loves us. God absolutely loves us. If he didn't love us, then why are we still here? God loves us. He has a plan and a purpose for our life. And we just got to learn to cast our anxieties, cast our cares on him and let him carry that weight for us. Jesus is saying, hey, come to me. Come to me. Cast your anxiety. Give me all that stress, all that weight, all that pain, all that hurt that you've been building up. You don't have to carry that by yourself. I will carry that for you. And again, confessing is a big part of that. Because whenever sin you're hiding, whatever transgression you're hiding, whatever you're trying to hide, eventually it's going to keep festering and festering until it eventually comes out from the surface. Because whatever you try to hide is always going to come to light. So he's just essentially saying here, Peter is saying, cast your cares on Jesus because he cares for you. Why stress about it when you don't have to stress about it? But with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Again, if you have any consequences that i did or that i didn't name or some ways that you personally like to confess please leave those down in the comment section below and hey thanks for checking out this video make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this video all right me take over all right so i am back testifiers i hope you enjoyed that brief little segment if you like this video please make sure you like comment share and subscribe it helps out the channel also don't forget about the $25 gift card giveaway I'm having for every person who is subscribed to my channel by the month of December and specifically on the 15th I'll be doing a special 25 visa gift card giveaway I'll pick one subscriber I'll get your information I'll send it to you and you have yourself a free $25 gift card all you had to do is subscribe to this channel how do you up your chances well by liking comment sharing subscribing doing all of that will get you more notice and will help it make it a little bit more easier when it comes to choosing somebody so again guys thank you so much for checking out this video check out all the other videos that i have in the playlist and again i hope you all have a blessed day peace